Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Welcome back to another one of our squad builders. And today we're going to go for a 4-3-1-2 team based around one of my top picks for my top five most underrated players. And that's going to be the third in form, Jonas. And it's a player that I feel a lot of people really like to see simply because he's actually really good and he's not too expensive either. So I thought I'd make a really awesome team around him and I have. Now, if you didn't get some... MSP or some PSN codes, definitely check out G2A.com. TBY3 will get you some money off at the checkout as well. And like I was saying, I think I might have found a really flawless team. It's absolutely perfect in my opinion. I couldn't find any trouble with it. And the trouble I thought I'd have didn't happen at all. Like, we have two centre-backs here. We have Naldo and I'm about to throw in Hummels. And both these players have a high attacking work rate. And I was like, okay, so this might cause... A little bit of trouble but it didn't at all and I feel like if you have if you have two high attacking work rate center backs it doesn't seem to make a difference because both of them are kind of going to be in the same place they weren't caught out of position at all whereas if you have one you can really really notice and it seems like they're doing it more often than not was absolutely fine I'd really really recommend the defense it's solid it's Got everything you need. And Sue is a great left back as well. Really do enjoy having him in the team. And I thought I'd bring back a fan favourite. Now, Tarat has been kind of missing in the past couple of FIFAs. Simply because he's just been downgraded so much in terms of his stats. And now, obviously, in the Portuguese league over at Benfica. Makes it a little bit more difficult to get him in teams. But he's actually still really, really good. I was so impressed with how he worked in the team. And it caught me off guard. It really did. Then we have Lam over in this central spot. And it's been a little while since I've used Lam. And I was kind of debating if it was worth the 16k. But he really got stuff done. He was always staying back. He was always helping out. Making sure the midfield was kind of ticking along. Then on the right hand side, we have another 5 star skiller, so really nice symmetry here with the 4 star weak foot and the 5 star skills on both of our more attacking minded centre mids. And Guiliano is actually phenomenal. I hadn't used him before. I'm so impressed with how smooth his skills feel and just generally how well he played in the team. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Like, it was really good. Then over at Cam, we're going to throw in Goetze. 4,000 coins, pretty much. Just under that. For a really top-tier player, in my opinion. He's a great Cam. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Gets involved very nicely. And, of course, has that perfect link with Lam. Left-hand side, we're going to go with the third in-form Jonas. And this cost me 34,000 coins. Which ain't too bad, considering... It's the third in form, and it's a card with 80 shooting and 80, 89 shooting, sorry, and 80 pace, which is monstrous. Then we have Pato on the right-hand side. Really good card. Like, he's so, so underrated. I do not see him on this game near enough as much as I probably should because he's brilliant. He's so good. There are plenty of links. He's great. He's very fast. He's got decent shooting. He doesn't feel weak in the slightest as well, which is... Probably one of my favorite things about him. I'm going to show you guys the player instructions. A lot of people wanted to see them. And I thought I might as well. So generally speaking, I do this for pretty much every team. Change the left back and the right back to stay back. Change your middle holding center mid to also stay back. And then have the left and the right hand side center mid as pushing forward. Simple as that really don't really need to change anything else you can change Jonas to a, a target man but to be honest I didn't and the team played brilliantly so I'd leave it at that and it, it did the job very nicely it's a fantastic formation it's so attacking you have so many options especially when you have your left and your right center mid pushing forward you really just have a ridiculous amount of space amount of options and Jonas here doing absolute work darting inside the box and that's his dribbling his dribbling's like, it's, it's so, so good. I cannot fault his dribbling in any way, shape, or form. And just generally speaking, the passing of this team felt superb. There wasn't a single player that I didn't feel 
got thoroughly involved. Like everyone was was doing their bit, and it's a great formation. I think it's very very attacking, and it just works. It really works. Jonas's positioning is mental. It's so like he's so good at pressuring the opposition, and his keeper makes a bit of a fumble there. A nice tidy little finish to give us another goal. He's just a great card. I'd thoroughly recommend him. I haven't used his normal. I've only ever used his informs. I've used his second and his third, and they, they are so good. If you haven't tried him out, honestly, give him a try. It's an excellent card, and it's just really fun. It's a really fun team. It's not crazy expensive. It's going to cost you about 100,000 coins, probably closer to 75 if you're on the Xbox. Maybe even the same on the PlayStation, to be honest. But I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I, I genuinely cannot fault this team. I can't find a problem. Leno was a monster in between the sticks. He didn't concede at all. He he just, his saves were wondrous. Like, he just dart across the, the other side of the net. Really strong. I am still having a struggle with the games. I, I cannot find any games whatsoever. That game that you just saw me play, it literally took me three hours to find. And that was after... I had an eight hour shift at work. So I, I genuinely, I'm, I'm running out of time. I don't know if anyone can help me, if there's any solutions out there. If it's, I'm pretty sure it's not my internet. There's nothing really wrong with my internet. I'm not encountering any other problems on any other games. It is just FIFA that I'm struggling so much with the game. But nonetheless, 100K team, third informed Jonas, give it a try, it's fantastic. 10 out of 10, could not fault this in any way, shape or form. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give a like if you have and subscribe for some more from myself, but take care guys, have an amazing day and goodbye.